James Barrow here. I'm talking with Elaine Pruis about the uh, new TLDs, which are the top level domains. And uh, I want to talk to you about your company, Minds and Machines. Um, Elaine, you work with COCA, which is part of Minds and Machines. Uh, can you explain what exactly your role is there? Sure. So, Minds and Machines formed at the beginning of this year to um, provide services to clients who are wanting to apply for new generic top level domains. A generic top level domain is a word like um, dot music and um, COCA is the Council of Country Code Administrators and so within the domain space you have country codes which are two letter codes so Canada's dot CA, America's dot US, Mexico's dot MX and then you also have generic top level domains like dot com, dot net, dot org and next year it will be possible to apply for anything after the dot within some um, parameters. You can't have numbers after the dot, but very limited um, rules about what could be after the dot. And so we're finding that there are many different um, business ideas around what people might have after the dot. And so my role, it, in COCA is to support countries who are using this software to manage their domain registry platforms and I'm bringing that knowledge and those relationships over into the Minds and Machines space and my role at Minds and Machines is Vice President of Client Services so I provide uh, the same sort of support and relationship maintenance and education um, that new top level domain clients require when implementing and building a new registry. And then what about the registrars? Are they tied into the Expresso platform already? Yes, yeah, so um, currently because we have so many TLDs using the software platform and many of them are on a shared registry platform where we'll have 10 TLDs all on one server, then the registrar makes one EPP connection to the registry server and they have access to 10 different top level domains. So instead of going out to connecting to .com, here, .net, here, .org, here, which all have different um, infrastructures and different protocols, they make one connection with all of the same infrastructure and protocols and they, they can offer all of those top level domains in a single connection to their customers. So we have over 200 registrars currently connected on our Espresso CC registry platform. And so when the new TLDs come online, those registrars are already integrated. They won't have to learn a new system. They don't have to make a new connection. Um, the only thing that will be required of them is to make an additional agreement with the registry operator about pricing, um, and maybe volume discounts, but that, that's it. And that ease of integration and ease of offering those new top level domains is a huge benefit to our customers. So you're closely associated with the uh, Council of Country Code Administrators, uh, also known as COCA. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the relationship between your companies? Okay, so COCA is the not-for-profit cooperative that works with country code top level domains, CCTLDs and Minds and Machines is providing services for new generic top level domains. So they're separate companies, but Minds and Machines has an exclusive license to utilize the COCA registry system and software for GTLDs. Now currently the COCA software um, is free, but you cannot use it for generic top level domains the license exclusively says the open source version of the software is only for country code top level domain operators. And so what Minds and Machines is doing is using that software um, for generic top level domains, plus we're building on lots of extra tools that are required in the, in the GTLD space. So how many uh, CCTLDs are currently using Expresso? Uh, so we have 10 CCTLDs are using 
the software Espresso CC. That's the most recent version with the, the latest and greatest upgrades. Um, there are seven more CCTLDs that use the, soft, the COCA software um, locally on their own servers and they have the opportunity to upgrade to Espresso CC if they wish. Um, so it depends because we've just released this latest version um, this month. We'll see how many actually upgrade, but I'm sure all of them will because it's got some great, great new features that uh, weren't a part of the old piece. Internationalized top-level domains use non-Roman characters. Are you going to support these? And uh, can you give me any examples? Sure. So, yeah, internationalized domain names, we call those IDNs for short. Basically what that means is right now most um, internet usage is done in English characters. So when you want to go to your web page, you go to james.com, and that's typed in English. But say you're in China, and your name is Xu Yang, and you want to go to xuyang.cn. Well, Xu Yang can have her name in Chinese characters instead of S-A-G-Y-A-N-G. But after the dot, CN for China, that's still English characters. Well, next year, we will have internationalized top-level domain names where we can have dot Chinese characters. And we think that this is an incredible opportunity for growth in the internet because there are so many billions of people in the world that are not native English speakers and so many billions of people in the world that can't read English, let alone use the internet in English. And I, we see this as a, a huge area of growth in um, domain name usage and an opportunity for people who are interested in applying for dot Chinese character, dot Arabic character, dot Hindi character, dot Hebrew, whatever you can imagine, this will be possible. And yes, our software does support this technology.